and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gang Plank Nightfall. Gonna go ahead and bring this deck back. Last time we played it was on Rank Up Sunday. Uh, this is one of my favorite decks right now and uh, that's what we're gonna do today. We've, we've had a little bit of a rough time recently. We're gonna come back and play some pretty strong decks today. This deck has a lot of card advantage in it and uh, a lot of just efficient cards and a lot of Nexus damage. Combine that all together means it's going to do pretty well. We have these Bilgewater cards that are pretty awesome. As you all know, I love Stalking Shadows, love Unspeakable Horror. I think these two cards are really great. Um, and so, yeah, so we're just going to try to get aggressive with Misfortune, get some Nexus damage in, and then have our card advantage that can um, keep us going in the late game with the Unspeakable Horror, the Stalking Shadows, your Yordle Grifter, Zap Spray Fin, all those things getting us extra cards. So let's give this a try, Gangplank Nightfall. We'll have Riptide Rex clean up some games for us. We're going to go head on over to Ranked, um, where it looks like we're starting over here in Diamond, back to Diamond 4. But that's okay. We'll go play five games uh, with this deck, and then with each other deck. We'll have Fiora Garen. Um, just put that one together. Today we're going to be splashing uh, Targon for Pale Cascade in a Demacia Bannerman deck. And we're going to have Tarek Trundle. Uh, that's our, our one donation deck for today. I don't think I'm looking at anything. So it's our one donation deck. That's going to be with, um, with Starlet Seer and buffing up some huge threats. You know, like Battle Fury with Tarek. That one's going to be pretty awesome. And um, and then we're going to play Twisted Swain, and that's for those of y'all on YouTube. I've had some people that have been asking about uh, Twisted Fate Swain, wanting to see that. Um, didn't get to it last Sunday, like I was hoping. And so instead, we're going to be getting to that today. So it's Petty Officer or Misfortune. I want to get the Petty Officer in play. I'm going to be attacking out with everything. I know their 2 3 can block a 2 1. But then, you know, I have like Misfortune, Unspeakable Horror, that kind of stuff that can free up the that last point of damage they did. But they just take the blocking on the. Petty Officer, anyway. I was worried about playing my Misfortune and then them playing a Petty Officer. And then if they go Petty Officer, you know, then I can't really attack with my Misfortune and then Fast that would have made my turn a lot worse. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. This would be a really good turn to play Gangplank, but yeah, actually, let's just do it. Let's say we don't have the, the mana for like the other spell, you know, like we don't have one extra mana for Make It Rain Unspeakable Horror. Which was why I was maybe thinking about playing Arachnoid Horror instead of Misfortune last turn. But we still do have... Trades Misfortune away for the 3-4, that's probably worth it though. Um, we still do have the Misfortune ability that gets to do 2 damage. All right, they're down to five. What once was two now is one. Gotta go with the flow. I rise. Can't quite kill this golden sister. Why are you here? Uh, yeah, okay. All right, they're down to eight. I have a pretty decent looking open attack. And 
And I think that's kind of the problem with Solari Priestess, what we saw in that game. Is that Solari Priestess just being a 1-2 is too small to stabilize. Yeah, comparing Priestess on turn 3 and Petty Officer on turn 3, it's just, it's just like you can't play Priestess, <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, I like this hand. We'll keep all these. This will be a good matchup. This is, you know, very similar deck. They're just using Noxus instead of Shadow Isles. So it could really go either way. The Shadow Isles, the Noxus is, is more aggressive. The Shadow Isles is more value. More late game stuff. But then, you know, we still have our aggression in here. You know, two mana, three, two fearsome. A Doom Beast. No one's the wiser. So I'm just going to trade three twos. Hmm. I think I actually want to go Dreadway Deckhand with Mega Rain. If they had something that was going to kill my uh, powder keg, and then realized that it didn't matter. Um, yeah, I could see them playing really either Captain Farron or um, Riptide Rex. Uh, I, would, I would certainly expect Riptide Rex, but I could see them playing Captain Farron. I think I've seen a, a couple of them playing Captain Farron. So I wouldn't be too surprised. Either way. <laughs> so I want to block with my 1-1 one, one elusive. Probably not. Fortune favors the bold. Definitely helping not gain plank. Yeah, Captain Farron's awesome. I can see playing that. Sure about that. So it's gonna it makes sense to wait on the stalking shadow so that we can play that first and then play Doom Beast to be able to get the drain in afterwards. I was gonna say Jagged Butcher would be the one reason to play it right then. Remember me, you bastard. No. Also takes that out of our deck as far as Yordle Grifter is concerned. Start trying to kill this thing. Why would they not attack with the 2 1 also? Does that make a ton of sense? He started without me! Hmm. 
Definitely hoping for, like, Riptide Rex. <laughs> right? Try to get multiple Riptide Rex. Uh, or, or my own your, or my own spray fin. Gangplank's really strong. They got their Gangplank. I don't have mine. Unfortunately, we just have a bunch of two drops and three drops that are not going to be as powerful as a Gangplank. Explosives prime. All hands on deck. I'm glad I did that first. Yeah, Jack. Is Jack in here. Jack's a little slow. It'd be in the Sprayfin slot. I think I like Sprayfin more. I had to just hope that they just didn't block well. Because these cards aren't stopping. These things aren't stopping that. I, 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 It wasn't a good attack, but that was like my only hope was that they didn't block well and something weird happened. Maybe I just keep Riptide Rex. Let's do it, because we're definitely going to want Riptide Rex at, our, at the top end. So my thinking here is that I know we don't have anything on turn two, but even if we don't have anything on turn two, we can just keep the two spell mana, have Misfortune on three, Zap Sprayfin on four. Sprayfin's going to be good at being, you know, with being elusive. And that Sprayfin will be drawing a spell that we'll be able to use with our spell mana that we then don't use. Um, but we drew the two drop, so all good. I wanna go home. Um, I would not say that Jack gives you more card advantage than Zap overall. Zap Sprayfin gives you card advantage immediately, you know, and that mana. Jack has to survive I'm one of the good guys, but to give you card bad. advantage. And of course, you'll have to want to use that card as well. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily. I mean, there will definitely be games that the Jack will give you more card advantage, but not necessarily. You know, like it's not. Uh, it's not like it. It's a. Uh, it always does kind of thing. Keep up! Keep up! Um, no, I don't think I've played any Undying deck. Did I attack with Misfortune too? No. No, I haven't played any Undying deck in this meta game. I would have gone Grifter last turn, we would have hit with Petty Officer. Well, I definitely don't want to kill one of these before combat, and level up Callista before combat. Oh man, this is a tough choice. So I can block like this, and then I can Unspeakable Horror the Callista and kill the Callista. Or I could block over here, and then Unspeakable Horror the 2-1 and keep my Spray Fin alive. I think we kill their Callista. You made choices. And because of um, uh, Glimpse Beyond, because of Glimpse Beyond, I want to do this 
before damage happens. Because if I just let damage happen and turn Callista into one health, and then I go Unspeakable Horror and try to kill Callista, then they can glimpse beyond the Callista. Um, but here, if they glimpse beyond the Callista, they wouldn't kill my Yordle Grifter. Let's go, let's go this route. Everyone's a garden. So it looks like they just want more things to die. Okay, so they want more things to die, so that means they're going to be planning on they who endure next turn. So maybe I need to go Doom Beast this turn, actually. Just to heal two. No. Hopefully they're out of Blighted Caretakers. Hopefully. I want that extra one mana and the extra card. There we go. Could be useful. Okay, no. No, they who endure. And they got all three of their Doom Beasts, though. Could be counting on, let's see, so Riptide Rex killing all these things does mean that their They Who Endure is a lot better. Let's do this. So honestly, killing all those things is kind of not good. Yes. That should be close to dying, I think. That's obviously what I wanted. Callista? Yeah, it's Callista. Alright, hopefully not they who endure. Okay, at least Gangplank's a 6-6. Six Ugh, six. Oh, it's exact lethal? I, I guess Yordle Grifter is my only chance. So I don't think... Because Rex... I mean, what... Rex can't do 10 damage just not possible so we have to like find do you want to we have to find something from them no nope. exact lethal Ugh. gross i mean i guess i just shouldn't i guess i should just should not have played i should not have played riptide rex they played the callista and, and baited me into playing the riptide rex i couldn't kill those units and make the they who endure too big. I right, gotta get some cheaper cards. Ugh, not really cheaper. This is against the fast aggro. I do really like Unspeakable Horror. I would really like Mega Rain. I mean, like, Dreadway Deckhand's actually pretty good here. I don't think I've ever played against this deck where they don't have the attack token on turn one.
That's a really good card to get. Why would they do that on my turn and not on their turn to turn on the Nightfall? Like, why would they not just do that right here and then turn on Nightfall? It's not like my card's going anywhere. No prey, no pay. Fine with me. She's definitely trimming her claws. They got four cards in hand. Gypsy, where they come from? Cruise the best I can find. You best hope they'll do. I like getting the. I just like getting the powder keg out here and, and basically just getting game blank out here. I mean, I could have gone stalking shadows, stalking shadows, and unspeakable horror with the drain one. I just rather play game blank. We're gonna be stalking shadows here first. We may hit like a dreadway deckhand that gets us another um, another powder keg where we get to drain three be pretty nice. Or a Petty Officer with that same thing. Let's see what they want to do. I wasn't quite paid attention. I'm not sure if that was the... Ephemeral card. That egg. Did it move? Break their legs. Okay, so this is basically like draining three to the Nexus, but then we also get to heal Gangplank and heal us. Now the, the Gangplank has four overwhelm damage that all goes through. So that's just a really nice um, unspeakable horror there. That's exactly the block that I wanted them to make. You'll fight or you'll swim. Round them up. Two fearsome things right now. Drawn all three frenzied skitters. Block that one. Cut my name Not a pretty healthy life total. For the most part. I mean, it's just one one additional damage. I think we can take that one additional damage at this point in the game. Mother now, I could warning shot right now to make Gangplank 4 out of 5. I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get Gangplank to be um, 5 out of 5 before it attacks. Real Rankler! Well, that's a way to do it. Friday! It is Friday. That's a 
You are wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to start... I'm just going to start with Stalking Shadows. And we'll see if we find Doom Beast. We found Doom Beast. We can play this. That will drain two. That will level up Gang 20. Start doing this before combat. Cheers. I'll have to go with this. Oh, <laughs> no, Wrangler, you're the best. Alright, two and two. Okay, I like this. Vi and uh, Swain. I have been thinking about, you know, as, as like far as like thinking about like new decks to build or, or, you know, like decks to bring back, like that kind of stuff. I do feel that Vi is currently underplayed. That's a good card. I like that one. I'm gonna mulligan this deck hand. I don't know. It's just not very exciting. Uh, they may not have very many cheap units. Maybe they have like House Spider or something. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. We got the attack token turn one, of course. So we definitely want to play Jagged Butcher Let's right away and get those attacks in. Now, the other Jagged Butcher, I mean, I guess we just play it. I kind of want to save the two spell mana for Unspeakable Horror, though. You know, we're going to do that. We're going to save the two spell mana. No prey. We'll play this Misfortune where we have Unspeakable Horror for a blocker. I expect them to have quite a bit of removal, Piltulgrin's on and Noxus, so I would not be surprised if my Misfortune is just going to die to a removal spell. But that's just the way it goes. Hell of a day. The day don't need riches. Withdrawing Arachnoid Horror, maybe I should have just gone Arachnoid Horror and try to get damage in and then play a Jagged Butcher afterwards. Yeah, I could see this being a Tri-Beam deck, definitely. Seeing those three mana removal spells. Could definitely see that. So I was I was planning on going Arachnoid Horror and then Unspeakable Horror to kill this thing. But I wonder if it's better to just go make it rain so that we can get the Nexus damage in with the Make It Rain, and then we can play Jagged Butcher as a 3-3. The problem with going Make It Rain and then Jagged Butcher as a 3-3 is that now I don't really have anything uh, for Nightfall for these other two cards. I'm just going to do this and get a new Nightfall card in my hand. Look at that. Rewarded. Do I play Gangplank pre-combat? So, like, they could have Vi or Swain. Gangplank trades with Vi against Swain. Kinda trades. Trades-ish. It's probably worth it. Best thing would be... Um, like, Stalking Shadows, hitting Yordle Grifter. Or hitting Sprayfin. That's hand. Killing all my stuff. Warning Shot is the opposite of card advantage. It is the actual worst card for me to draw. Yep, just the worst card for me to draw. <clears throat> Swing's definitely close to leveling up. If it does level up, the Gangplank can still trade. 
my name in Tia. A little surprised that they didn't didn't just do that first. Well, re really, the, what I'm surprised about is they didn't do that in response to the Mega Rain to just kill that, have their Swain leveled up, and now just attack. They could have just dealt 7 damage to me. Um, but yeah, a little surprised they didn't just do that. There's plenty of killing there. All right, come on, Stalking Shadows, Yordle Grifter. Stalking Shadows, Yordle Grifter. All right, we'll take Yordle Grifter. That's a weird time for them to say GG, isn't it? Isn't it kind of a weird time for that? Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Our Yordle Grifter has missed 100% of the time. Alright, Riptide Rex. Yordle Grifter. Stalking Shadows. Doom Beast. Kinkles, good morning. Lots of people joining today. Thanks, everybody. Glad to see you all here. So the Swain's going to hit me and kill these things. Come on, Riptide Rex. Stalking Shadows. Right, Dreadway Deckhand, maybe. With Mega Rain. No. One card I needed to hit. And they top tech domestic shot anyway to kill it. Yeah, that's likely. Likely game. We honestly had no we had no card advantage this game. None. Not as you know, we had one Yordal Grifter that whiffed. And um, that's it. So no card advantage, no Riptide Rex. That is rough. That's, that's why I don't really like Dreadway Deckhand. I think that's the the worst card in our deck. Could we? Could this deck get away with just not playing Dreadway Deckhand? Probably, right? It's the card that I'm always like, uh, I guess we have Dreadway Deckhand. The thing is, you got to play a good amount of units because of Stalking Shadows. But I wonder if it should just be like Salvage. Maybe another Sprayfin. Alright, so if you just don't play that card, we could play like another Sprayfin. Still need to be like pretty decent against the early decks though. Maybe play like one or two of them, but not all three. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe just play Black Market Merchants. Yeah, maybe it's just a couple of Black Market Merchants. Probably not that difficult to turn on the nab and everything. I don't really... I, honestly, the warning shots haven't been that great in this deck. I don't know. Basically, okay. So I think... I honestly kind of think that maybe what this deck should do... I think this deck's maybe a little aggressive. Um, maybe what it should do is be a Twisted Fate deck and not a Misfortune deck. kind of think it should be Twisted Fate Gangplank. Not Misfortune. That's really where I, I feel like what we, we should have. Um, it gives us a lot of fours. That's what I kind of feel like we should be doing is, is Twisted Fate. If 
there's a lot of time. I mean, there's a there's definitely been other games that we play with this deck that that we do have a, a ton of draw and it looks great. Um, and I like Arachnoid Horror a lot, but we also just are missing with Yordle Grifter way too much. So maybe just go down to like the nine Shadow Owls cards of these three, the best ones. And uh, maybe play like Parlay maybe. Maybe one of the warning shots play a parlay. Because there are like a lot of the aggro decks like where parlay is pretty good. I could see Stalking Shadows grabbing Black Market Merchant being pretty awesome though also. That seems like another really good target to hit in the late game. We saw, you know, like how we were losing some late games and we saw that a couple of times of us getting Stalking Shadow and just getting Arachnoid Horror with Stalking Shadow and Arachnoid Horror not really doing anything in the late, you know, at that point of the game. This makes us worse on turn two by playing Black Market Merchant. Wouldn't make us worse on turn two. I guess with, with Merchant, though, you really want Warning Shot more. Wouldn't mind playing some parlays, but got to keep that unit count high for stalking shadows you really don't want to miss let's try one game like this with black market merchants in here now we already played our five but i want to play another game and try this version Our Yordle Grifter missed every single time last game. See, yeah, like Arachnoid Horror would be right, would be a lot better right here. Um, keep these two though. Try this little combo. It's hoping for a warning shot. This is a little awkward. Arachnoid Horror would have been a lot better right there. Because, like, I need to Unspeakable Horror drain them one to be able to turn on Black Market Merchant, but then also this is the Nightfall card, so I want to play the second. So just planning on playing Black Market Merchant after your Grifter. I don't want to give them the block on the Petty Officer. I want to make them use an additional card to deal with Petty Officer. <laughs> We're still missing. We'd already drawn three of our nine Shadow Isles cards. Here's another one, though. The trolls are going to war! Because, yeah, Stalking Shadows is draw, right? Yeah, so that's just more card draw for Twisted Fate. Um, oh, do you want to get back to work? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Fill me in. Maybe Riot secretly nerfed Grifter by putting cards from other regions on top whenever you play him. That's possible. Our, our Yoda Grifter has missed every single time today. We're like 0 for 4 or 0 for 5, something like that. Ah! 
Can't say it's not possible. Bow to your king. This is getting a lot more card advantage, though, now. Look out below. My that was a Trundle's Ice Quake. Oh, I didn't do damage to them first. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have played this game. Showing that I have forgotten how to play these cards. I'm used to the Nightfall cards right now, right? Like, I'm used to the Nightfall, not not the Plunder as much. My plan was, you know, going to be have the, have the Spray Fin, have the Spray Fin attack for two, deal the two damage. And that, that's how I was going to do the damage for the Merchant, because I wanted to save the Warring Shot for the Riptide Rex. But, I mean, I have, like, the Doom Beast that turns on the Plunder and everything, too. I just... I uh, just kind of missed that. A little rusty here. A little rusty. I'll knock him dead. You can't do this. Try again. I'm hoping to kill Trundle. Kill them both. So even though even though my Yordle Grifter missed, my Black Market Merchant, I guess, missed, we still have like these Stalking Shadows, we can find more Riptide Rexes. We still have a lot going on. Um, they still do as well, of course. Hey, Yud. Yeah, no, that is that is not a problem. Same problem with playing a digital card game. The computer doesn't ra randomize as efficiently as it's supposed to. That's, that never, no, that's, that's not the case. It is always very, very randomized. Stand and defend. So double Averroes and Hearthguard. Definitely pretty nice. We're gonna have some large units now. Things are going good. Yeah, it's Friday. We having fun, we are learning. Okay, let's see if we get another Riptide Rex. There we go. So we're taking down this trundle. Unfortunately, I can't just go straight to combat because they're going to get an additional... Well, like, they'll get something else on top. So, like, they'll they'll be able to kill my... You know, be able to block my 7-4. We go right to combat. Okay, well, I guess that doesn't kill my 7-4. Hmm. So I could make it rain and another Riptide Rex. It doesn't sound great against these Ice Pillars, because if I pass turn, they just go Ice... They can play Ice Pillar, play Ice Pillar, play something else. 
That's a lot of... It's a lot of blockers and a lot of health. played anything yet, don't want to just lead off with Doom Beast. I did Nexus damage to them. There we go. Black Market Merchant's pretty sweet with Stalking Shadows. It's a pretty good one. We got the Lunari Shade Stalker. And then I think I'll pass and keep this three spell mana. It's already enough out here as far as sweepers go. Black Market Merchant. So I want to get the I want to get the you know I want to have the, this powder keg to do two I want the other powder keg to do you know like I want the other like I want the attack ability to deal two also. Of course, we are going straight to attacks. So we're going to have my 2-1. Oh, I forgot to get an 11-7. Why do they need an 11-7? Triple Ever in Hearthguard. That's like a perfect Riptide Rex. That was like a perfect red Rex for us. I love having this thing being at two health, so I get to I get to challenge that with my overwhelm. Like I, I love that we didn't kill this this thing. Blow him 
to the depths. You don't stand a so that's chance. probably game. Depending on what they got for, You'll you know, with this two mana. That. You don't stand a chance. Awesome. All right, even with my one black market merchant mistake, the black market merchant was clutch. Getting that, at, getting that uh, vengeance to kill one Uzgar. Let me see that cool thing. Yeah, grinding down war mothers. <laughs> That's not something you see very often. That somebody get all those free units with war mothers and still lose. All right, so there we go. I think that's what I like with this deck. I like the Black Market Merchant, even though I, I messed it up the first time. But I think that's a really cool card with Stalking Shadows. And then the Twisted Fate was still good. You know, like we we drew an extra card with Twisted Fate, got us a little bit farther into the deck. Um, it did the the threat of Twisted Fate leveling up did make them use their Ice Quake maybe a little early, maybe. But, you know, it it uh, dictated the game, which that's kind of you know that's just all you can really ask for with your cards. Um, so yeah, I think I think this is where we kind of go with this deck going forward with Gangplank Nightfall is getting rid of Misfortune and go towards Twisted Fate Black Market Merchant. I like that. I like that. All right, there we go. Um, uh, yeah, because even just the more cards you draw, you know, like Twisted Fate just helps draw cards. Where misfortune doesn't, and the more cards you draw, means the the better it is for you know stalking shadows, finding your other things that you need. So you you know you you find your riptide rexes that you need and stuff like that. <clears throat> All right, but anyway, that's it here for Gangplank Nightfall. Those y'all watching later on on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what do you think of of the old version or this new version. Uh, you know the misfortune versus twisted fate. Let me know what you think of those. Um, yeah, leave those comments. I'd like to see those. But thank you so much for watching some Gangplank Nightfall, and I'll see you for the next video.